Is large scale, is it coming back? HBI sent us something awesome, quite literally the platform that started my YouTube channel, the Baja 5B. K-pop RC, remote control videos. Today, October 5th, 2022, is the day HPI Racing releases it once again to the world. And this is the first kit in North America. RC. Yo, 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 I've been yo. tinkering with this platform for the better part of 10 years. Hey YouTube, uh, this is K-pop. Just thought I'd do a video um, introing my Baja project. It's met some kick-ass friends that have lasted twice as long as HPI's first manufacturing run of these beauties. From traveling to the East Coast Nationals at Digger's Dungeon in 2010. to racing in several Canadian fifth scale nationals, to making children cry in the park due to intense brapping, to buying seven Bajas and creating an empire of vintage large scale RC cars. We've been slowly buying um, fifth scale vintage, like you guys are saying, the, uh, the <laughs> oldest fifth scales around. <laughs> it like filled up the whole trunk. Another one. Another but one. I mean, they're really cheap. I think we got seven uh, Baja, you know, 5T trucks right now. <laughs> and now, a newly acquired HPI comes back from the dead. Reanimated by the lingering genius that made these cars so freaking popular. And me, K-pop RC, the lucky f that gets struck by lightning and offered the first gas kit in North America. Let's build this. HPI sent us freaking Bajas. Man, they sent me one and they also sent Scale Builders Guild one. Matt, what? He's got the Flux one, so if you wanna check out what's in the box for the Flux one and go check out Scale Builders Guild. And if you just wanna see me build this thing right now, just stick around, man. And don't forget to subscribe for more content with these monsters, man. Hand me a remote, let's play cars. Let's do it! Huge shout out goes to uh, Scale Builders Guild for emailing HPI and, uh, and and just like letting them know that we were playing around with old vintage Bajas. And sure enough, man, through a whole bunch of emails back and forth, turns out they're re-releasing the Baja 5B kit because obviously they're trying to re release you know, all the parts availability for these because these are quite popular fifth scale cars. They're pretty much what started the fifth scale racing scene in the United States, in, in, uh, in America. Anyway, this thing is sick. This thing is freaking sick. Look at this thing. It is a massive box. It comes like just in these like massive parts bought a bag. Oh my God. I can't wait, I can't wait to get my hands in there and start building this kit. This the kit, the smell of the kit alone brings back so many memories. You know, I guess it was like a solid 10 years ago when I started K-pop RC when I bought the Baja 5B SS kit and now you know, 10 years later, HPI sending Scale Builders Guild uh, and myself one of these kits to build. This one, 
the gasoline kit, but it's missing the motor and uh, electronics. You can buy it that way. You can buy it also with a gasoline engine. And uh, also you can buy the flux kit, which has the mounting provisions for like a, you know, fifth scale, you know, power plant, whichever one fits your fancy. But this one is the gasoline kit. It doesn't come with the motor. So we're gonna have to put a motor in here, but um, we got stuff coming for this because this does not come with electronics. It does not come with the freaking engine. The engine uh, should be a big component in this and uh, we got some surprises coming. Should be pretty freaking sick. So don't forget to subscribe, yo, to K-Pop RC. That's what you're watching. Why not, man, why not? We're doing cool things with big RC cars that are two-stroke, tons and tons of gas, lean, freaking lawnmower smell, that freaking two-stroke gasoline smell. It's so let's get to it, I'm, in, I'm into it, let's get to it. Okay, guy. Kit bag M. E. Don't need that right now. B. Don't need that right now, but I'll probably need that soon. A. Kit bag A. Okay, cool. Check it out. The color is like, like more metallic, I guess. It is definitely a different color than like the usual HPI color, which makes sense because they changed <laughs> manufacturers, which is uh, super interesting. pair of snips man because uh, on the Baja these are freaking hardcore Kit starts out front with a complex lattice of plastic growing outwards to massive wheel hubs. At every turn, this kit reminds you of its girth. And you question yourself constantly. Am I worthy? Am I worthy? This is what I'm talking about, a symphony of cage, triangulated perfection, a kit you catch yourself staring at, and one that can also humble you pretty fast. Right there, this MFR needs to go. Got you, I don't know if I got it on camera, but. To get the butteriest diff, the smoothest operation, be sure to put the sharp side of the stamp steel towards the machine gears. This will ensure the smoothest butteriest contact. It's what you want, man. It's what you want. Seven K, man. Seven K's great. Nice. 
We toss 7,000 weight diff oil in the baseball size differential. I assume we'll kick some serious horse ponies up into this. And the more limited slip, the better to get those optimal skiddies, boys. The fattest axles in the biz. These were made four times as thick as the original 2003 Baja. They had a terrible reputation of twisting. These, on the other hand, uh, I don't, I don't see these twisting anytime soon. But Dave's Discount Motors may have something to say about that. Uh, not sure. We'll see. We'll see how much power we push through those drive cups. All right. Snog them up, don't freaking take them up. Leave them all in there. I really love how it's all black. It's like gunmetal and black, and that's it. Like everything, sway bars. Like, there's nothing on here that isn't just gunmetal or like shiny black or matte black. The axles are shiny, and the gas tank's white. And I, I'm pretty sure the bead locks are white too. Uh, but everything else is black. So like, I don't know. I'm like trying to think of what to do paint the body and I'm thinking black because like it's got to have some kind of accent though I can't just oh, black. Like, it's no joke man no freaking joke this thing is massive it is massive and it's so sick it's two-wheel drive uh, and the build quality like just the build quality is so insane and the material quality is so good Anyway, this thing is sick. Okay, let's keep building it because like there's still more to do. I'm not I don't have an engine for it yet. That's coming uh, So we're just gonna put it together as it comes out of the box with the engine and uh, we'll go from there, but Already man, look at the size of this damn thing. It's almost put together. It's almost together.
just to the threads in the inside of the shock. That's fine. Next. One of those. This damn collar. Right there. Next, long spring. Next, stretch spring. Throw in your bottom thing, your bottom like spring retainer. Yeah. There you go. This is hands down my favorite RC car I've ever owned. I've owned so many of these. I've built two of these kits before in the past. The YouTube channel that you're watching right now, K-Pop RC, started with one of these SS kits back in 2009. 2009, it's been 12, 13 years, and finally HPI has decided to bring back this legend of fifth scale motorsports. This is what started it all. Without this freaking kit, without this car, we wouldn't have fifth scale racing as it is in the States, in North America today. So I'm super pumped to have this thing, to be one of the first ones to get one of the re-release kits in North America. And putting it together was an absolute blast. And so a massive shout out goes to HPI Racing for freaking sending us this monster. And also, hooking it up and making it happen before anybody else. It is like, it's been a freaking blast this weekend putting it together. I didn't think it was gonna take that long, but it took almost a solid three days. This is the third day of me putting this thing together and it's pretty much ready to go other than that gaping hole here in the center where we're gonna stuff a big two stroke engine that's being sent to us courtesy of Dave's Discount Motors. That's where you go to get all your hop up parts for these bad boys. If you're looking to buy one though, also maybe check out your favorite HPI distributor. Mine is cardinalracing.com. Uh, he will have these kits for sure. Uh, so will Dave's Discount Motors. So will probably every single place that you go and get RC cars. Uh, so pick your poison, man. Uh, spend your money where you wanna support. Huge, this thing is so awesome. I'm gonna freaking go just stare at it. I think it's time, yeah. I think we should just stare at it for a while. And uh, man, I still gotta go show Nash. <laughs> Nash has gotta see this thing. I've only, I've only sent him a couple photos. Damn, so huge. Anyway, don't forget to subscribe. And uh, yeah, there's gonna be a lot of shenanigans with these Bajas coming up. Oh, and HPI, man. Let's go re-release the paddles. I, you know, I, I need to be able to buy a whole bunch of paddles for these bad boys. Oh, look how fresh it is. It smells so good. It's so good. It's so good. Cheers to beers, boys. K-pop out.